I, I, I agree with you wholeheartedly there. All along, it's been suggested that he, above all people, is a genuine fan. Well, I'll use that term because it's been bandied around yeah. today. And Glenn Oliver has come across in a number of press releases where he's taken a really anti-attitude to any change or protest made by genuine fans, the real fans, the people who are here today to, to voice their opinions. It, he can take an opportunity to actually get the club hundreds of thousands of pounds yeah. over the course of it. It was made very, know? honest to God, it was made, if you ask Gene, it was made very, very, very clear to Glenn by the 11 representatives who were there two weeks ago that he, if he left the club today, the club would have £100,000 more in its pocket. Glenn's chosen not to do that. Right. So, um, so basically Glenn Oliver there is actually costing the club money. So we, we're all we know that, about that. Yeah. We, yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, and the thing is, you see, we can't do anything about that. You can't force Glenn to do anything other than what he wants to do. No, I, but the I suggestion can be put to him yeah. that he stands down straight away and, use it and, and uses his shareholding to keep the, the four in place. I think um, you need to make a phone call, Mike. Yeah, and, 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 and also, you know, it's a holiday situation, but let's hope we can sort something with Mark Sims and we can do the same sort with Bill Brown, you know. I'm sorry, I was, I was talking to you. For you then, Mike, I do apologise, mate. You know what I mean? I'm like a puppy. <laughs> well, uh, I've got to say that when you last came, you didn't know, and you answered, I don't know. And it, you've only answered it once today, but I do notice your attire resembles that of a mushroom. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> could, I, could I thank um, the, uh, the kind offer of... Uh, stopping protests or suspending protests uh, for the time being. Um, we do appreciate that. I understand why you're protesting and I, I, what I don't want you to think is that I've come out with this statement about the £100,000 as a swipe. I mean you might think so. It is not... Uh, wait, oh, let, let me finish. As a swipe at anyone. All I said was the consequence of these actions for whatever reason uh, and whether it's the fault of the board that's forced you to do that or whatever, but that, that was the consequence, and I wanted you, just wanted you to know how much that had cost. But I, I would thank you for suspending it, because it's helpful, it, and, and obviously it saves on policing costs and things like that. Can you just clarify that? Because I've got friends at work, who, you know, mm -hmm. they pop at me, saying I've cost them £100,000 because I was a protester. And it's just, well, not, it's just not about the protest, is it? Well, well, yeah. well, well, perhaps, well, scoops, scoops here, uh, and I... We spoke of what so we're speaking of. I will make that quite clear in, and, and I'm sure you'll pick up on this. I'll make that quite clear in tomorrow's newspaper exactly what the situation is. Mike, yeah, just throw it there. Yeah. You seem quite concerned that it's cost a hundred thousand pounds for protests. Yeah. Well, you're not concerned that Glenn Oliver is going to cost us as much. I think, uh, to be honest, I think knowing Mike and the context, he, he cares a damn sight more than that. But the thing is, we can't force. Say we, they can't force Glenn Oliver to do anything other than what Glenn Oliver wants to do, unfortunately. Um, the, 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 yeah, we could call an EGM, but the, by the time we call the EGM, the AGM's upon us, you know, because believe you, the supporters club do have a proxy that would enable us to call an EGM. We could, you know. The, the, but the club we had a mind to could, could call an EGM within two weeks. You only need to give the shareholders 14 days notice, so it could be done if they were minded to. Yeah, it, and, but what it is is, you've got to have a reason to be able to do that. I'll come, you know. He has agreed to go. You all wanted Bill to go. You all wanted Glenn to go. He could. Oh, well, listen, I, I can't. <coughs> well, all right, you don't believe they're going to go. I can't tell. I, but I can only repeat what I've said. We have it in writing from Bill. Bill. <laughs> we haven't got the other 14 letters in the drawer. Uh, uh, but we can only tell you the position as it is. And that's exactly what the position is. Yeah. You could vote. You yeah. could vote against Glenn Oliver. Yeah. yeah. So, sorry. Yeah. I mean, the the, 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 re the resolution could be for the removal of Glenn Oliver yeah. and Bill Bratt and the appointment of Mark Sims and A and other. I think Glenn's agreed to step down, but will not not seek re-election at the AGM. 
What we don't want to do now is force him to do something he doesn't want to do. Why? Be but we want because, to back. because Glenn has already agreed to step off the board of directors. Why is it not been I, I think I think the end result is what everybody in this room appears to want. So that doesn't mean that that doesn't mean that we won't be having a conversation along the lines that we've just spoken about. But you've got to let us have that conversation. The Bill Brat, the Bill Brat was was when the investment comes in. That's the Bill Brat one. I have facilitated the purchase of Bill's shares, right? So that's the Bill Brat one. With the Glenn one, he has agreed to stand down. We had long, long talks to him. We said, you can see the will of the people, you can see how many problems there were last, last week, last Thursday's meeting, and we suggested to Glenn it would be for the, for the best thing for the football club that he did that. He has now said, I will not stand. I mean, how much more do you want? I, I, don't, I, I really don't know how much more you want. You've got, you, you've got your own way on two of them. And the Mark, the Mark Sim situation was not in the first part at all. I have got emails and, and text and I had phone calls saying, the minute that Bill Bratt and, and uh, a Glenn stepped down or announced their resignation, you'll get hundreds of thousands of people through the door. We sold seven season tickets yesterday. Seven. So, 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 yeah. Tell me actually walk out the place. We won't well, leave you. But, but, I mean, Mike, you, you, Mike, you, you can't. Mike, I, I can't do anything about that. I'm sorry. Yeah, Mike, Mike, as we kind of said earlier on, it really is about it's about trust and what the fans, what the shareholders will actually believe. We talked about honesty. We're talking about openness and this new transparency that we're supposed to have as a club. I can say that uh, as a club, that you've not been open and transparent with me over the last two weeks as regards access to the share register. It's, um, um, you, you've withheld the information that I asked for. Okay, there's no good looking surprised, Mike. We've had numerous email conversations. You may say that you've, that you've responded within the legislation of the, of the law, but you have not been in this new spirit of open and transparency with fans and shareholders. And this, unfortunately, is where the communication is going to bring down. Let me just emphasise it in one way. First of, first of uh, April, we asked the club for a share register that was provided free of charge, including all the names and addresses of uh, those who were on the share register and the amount of shares that they held. And a similar request came in on the 4th of August. The club decided that they were going to charge. Fine, I've got no problem with that whatsoever. Sent an email which is detailed in terms of what, was, what, what, would be, um, what, would be, what we would like within that copy of the share register. The club, in this new era of transparency and openness, chose just to send the minimum requirements, as they say under the law, company's house and uh, our legal represents say something different, but to me it doesn't speak of transparency and honesty, a new way forward. It speaks us of, if you like, the old guard, the old regime. And that's why, in terms of getting your point across as, as why isn't it enough, because we need that point proved. Honesty and trust is something that's built up. You, you, you can't just kind of come and say, well, this is going to happen in the, in the future. We've heard about deals down the line. Mike Caitlin, Mike Newton, uh, American groups, they've come, they've been the next thing that have been coming into the club and they've disappeared as soon as um, a, a, um, the, the, the offer has been turned down. We were told with Mike Newton that there was another investment that was going to put all the money on the table. It was a better, a better investment opportunity. I don't, I don't understand why you're, around, why you're looking so critical, man, because it was there, it was in the press, Bill Bratt said it, it was on the radio. That was the situation. As soon as Mike Newton was out of the situation, nothing came from it. That's why kind of, kind of people like me and, and many people here need something from yourselves that will give us that sense of trust again. That trust has been broken. You need to give us something more than just words. We need some actions 
and something that really says that we can trust you uh, to deliver on what you say you are going to deliver. Okay. Do, 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 do you visited the club on Friday afternoon? Yes? D did you get all the information that you needed? We did, yeah. You did? Okay. So, so I'll, I'll do, just a minute, Malcolm. We've just finished. You had, you had your five minutes. D do you... Are you happy then with the information that you've got and do you have any other queries? My point, Mike, was on this, this sense of openness and transparency. Ask the, the names and addresses and the, um, and the number of shares for each individual shareholder. The club last April provided that. This time, the club chose not to do so. How is that more open? How is that more transparent? All it speaks of to me is, is a sense of being vindictive because I happen to belong to North London Valiance or a protest group. You're trying to build trust here. It seems an, a, a really strange way about going building up trust to me. Uh, can I just say, Mike, um, you did actually, Bill Lowy was very, very helpful on Friday in uh, the way he helped us. But that was only because uh, 10 days ago, you apparently didn't even know that the information hadn't been supplied to Malcolm. No, uh, it was actually made, a, uh, you were actually made aware of that at the meeting uh, 10 days ago. Yeah. Uh, so it was another director apparently who said at that meeting that we have provided everything that is uh, legally required. Uh, so that particular director hadn't been open and honest in his dealings with the fans. And secondly, uh, with regard to what you said about the black and gold protests, the moratorium that, that the group decided to call on those, uh, the reason we did that was because we thought that was something practical, something that we could actually do that might actually even save the club a bit of money. Yep. And we hoped that in return we would get something practical <coughs> rather than just words and promises. Now, we've had a lot of words and we've had a lot of promises today, uh, if you can get one of these directors out of the door in the very near future, we'll regard that as something practical in return. Okay, folks, I think we're, we're very close to you know, where we're at. I think um, what I was going to suggest is that just re revisiting, and that is that I do ask guys that when the deal is done, that the meeting is called immediately to tie in with the announcement of the meeting so that everybody gets a view of that. Look forward to you giving us the dates of the parliament t parliament that you're looking at sort of putting through from that side, from the fans parliament. Um, and uh, I can only say thanks a million everybody who has come out today. I've not heard a lot of cheering from next door so let's hope we have some good... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay, and we've just now got a raffle to draw from, um, uh, from here, so we can at least go...